the flower adornment sutra pure conduct。身为出家人，我誓愿在日常中行持净行品，以此来供养师，令师欢喜。When I renounce the household, I vow that sentient beings will live the home life without any obstruction and attain liberation in their mind. When I enter into the Sangharama, I vow that sentient beings. We will proclaim all kinds of dharmas, which are free of error and contention. When I visit senior or junior teachers, I vow that sentient beings will skillfully serve their teachers and elders, and practice wholesome dharmas. When I request permission to live the home life, I vow that sentient beings will become irreversible in their practice. Their minds free of impediment. When I cast off my worldly clothes, I vow that sentient beings will diligently cultivate good roots and renounce all obstructive offenses. When I shave my head, I vow that sentient beings will be forever free from afflictions. And achieve ultimate tranquility. When I do the kashaya sash, I vow that sentient beings will have untainted minds and perfect the path of the great immortal. When I have actually left the home life, I vow that sentient beings will live the home life with the Buddha. And rescue and protect all beings. In taking refuge with the Buddha, I vow that sentient beings will perpetuate the Buddha's lineage and bring forth the unsurpassed resolve. In taking refuge with the Dharma, I vow that sentient beings will deeply enter the Sutra Chandra and have wisdom like the sea. In taking refuge with the Sangha, I vow that sentient beings will unite and lead the great assembly, all without obstruction. When receiving and learning precepts, I vow that sentient beings will skillfully learn precepts and avoid all evil deeds. When receiving the Acharya's teaching, I vow that sentient beings will possess all inspiring deportment and be true in what they do. When receiving instructions from a great monk, I vow that sentient beings will enter the wisdom of the non-arising of dharmas and reach the stage of independence. When receiving the complete precept, I vow that sentient beings will be endowed with all expedients and attain the most excellent dharma. When I see a shramana, I vow that sentient beings will become subdued, gentle, and tranquil, and ultimately foremost. When I see a person of integrity. I vow that sentient beings will be steadfast in resolve and not renounce the Buddha path. When I recite the sutras, I vow that sentient beings will accord with what the Buddha says and remember it all without forgetting. When I praise the Buddha's merit and virtue, I vow that sentient beings will be endowed with. Mirrored virtues, and will utter endless praises. When I praise the Buddha's home mass and characteristics, I vow that sentient beings will accomplish a Buddha's body and realize the Dharma of no characteristics.